Good evening, children. Good evening, sir. So today, during this pandemic hours, we are discussing a very fine novel or short story of your syllabus, A Letter to God. This particular sub chapter may appear very odd to you because nobody generally writes a letter to somebody and particularly to God because there is no physical existence of God as such. Isn't it? Mm. Now, here the story belongs to a very rural background, maybe some parts of American continent because why American continent? Because the currencies that are mentioned over here are from American subcontinent. Okay? Here you will find the reference of peso, a particular type of currency that is prevalent in eight American nations. Then you will be having a uh, coin called uh, cent, then you will be having a coin called penny. So we will be coming to those later on now as soon as we hear the particular topic a letter to god a thought come to our mind that uh, it's actually a innocent person actually writing a letter to somebody unknown isn't it it's a naive type of person he doesn't know about the complexities of life he expects so many things from god and he believes that during his dire hours it's the god who can help him there is nobody else to help him in this particular chapter, the storyline goes like this, that Lanzo was expecting a huge harvest because the growth of the harvest, the growth of the seeds were so good that he will be having a go down or you can say store full of harvest for the whole year. He was expecting that. And he was expecting that a shower of rain will be doing a world of good for him. But we can only as a human being we can only perceive we can only expect god may have another idea about it isn't it here we can see two types of struggle in our life first struggle is the struggle with man to man and second struggle is the struggle between man with nature here you see lanso the person who worked so hard in his field and he was expecting so many things from his uh, uh, ripe uh, seeds, but in the end, what he gets is very, very pathetic scene. Here, as I have already told you about the struggle, in an ecosystem, there are three types of struggles in general. Okay, one is you have to struggle, intra class struggle, inter class struggle, and the struggle with nature. You will find in your science syllabus these particular things that. Class struggle is the main thing by which a balance of ecosystem always persists. When there is, say, interclass struggle means when the struggle be occurs within a particular race, say, human to human struggle. Okay? Then, struggle, interclass struggle means when one class struggles with others. Say, when a tiger or a lion struggles for food, that is interclass struggle. And struggle with nature when we face some kind of pandemic situation that we are facing right now okay okay then. so here the struggle is particularly between man and nature and man and man here Lenso struggles with nature nature has taken away everything from him and instead he go to God for his help but when the person come for his help he believes that those persons who are there in the post office are actually crooks because they have cheated him. Actually, the story is not like that. We will be going line by line in this particular story and we will see that what actually has happened and why a particular person has to write a letter to God and in return what God has replied, whether God has replied or not or who has replied in favor of God? It's a story of pure faith of a man on God. Okay? As a human being, I always believe that there is somebody above us who actually controls everything. Who actually will be helping us during the time of our dire need. So this is a story of that. Let us go to the 
chapter right now his house the only one in the entire valley set on the crest of low hill from the one height could see the river and the field ripe corn dotted with the flowers that always promised a good harvest good harvest means this year the harvest is going to be very good okay the production will be very good the only thing the earth needed was a downpour or at least a shower now shower means light rain it's a drizzle it's not a heavy rain it's light rain throughout the morning lenso who knew his field intimately had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast so he was looking at the sky he was thinking only a slight downpour will do a world of good for him the harvest the production of the crops will be so much that he will ha he will not have to i mean struggle throughout the year okay the whole year he will have plenty to eat in his godown now we are really going to get some water woman so he said to his woman let's so say to his wife that okay it seems that in the sky there is cloud so maybe during the night time the rain will come only one drizzle only one shower will do a world of good for him the woman who was preparing supper supper means dinner so now the name of supper is dinner say so yes god willing so god willing means generally the people who always believes in god they will be always dependent on god means if the god wishes then we will have plenty of food this year without god's will nothing is possible we generally the people who believes in god think like that isn't it the older boys were walking in the field while the smaller ones were playing near the house until the women called them come for dinner it was during that meal just as lenso had predicted big drops of rain began to fall in the northeast huge mountains of cloud could be seen approaching the air was fresh and sweet the men went out for no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling the rain in his body and when he turned he exclaimed these are not rain drops falling from the sky they are new coins the big drops are 10 cents and the little ones are 5 now cent what is a cent cent is a american currency it is 100 1 by 100 part of a dollar okay you might have heard of american dollar it's almost at today's rate you can say 75 rupees is equal to 1 dollar but in america 1 dollar is equal uh, 1 dollar is equal to 100 cent means 1 cent equal to 1 by 100 and the same way we use a particular word called penny okay penny means the coin of 1 cent is known as penny okay like we have got coins now some silver coins are there some gold plated it's a uh, golden plated coins are there nowadays in the market so those in america are known as penny so lenso was very happy to see the rain coming down he was thinking that one drop of rain is costing how much see the big drops are 10 cent okay means big rain drops are of 10 cent cost and the small are five the small rain drops are five cents value with a satisfied expression he regarded the field of ripe corn with flowers draped in curtain of rain but suddenly a strong wind began to blow and along with the rain very large hail storm began to fall this truly did resemble new silver coins the boys exposing themselves to the rain ran to collect the frozen pearls now there is a sudden change in the scene the happy person almost turned in a second turn into a unhappy person see along with the rain come the hail storm you might have seen the stones of the small uh, what do you call pebbles of ice coming down from the sky you might have seen those are known as hail storm now when hail comes generally it suppresses everything on earth and particularly if it happened to fall on the 
on the growing corns then all the corns or all the crops will be falling down to the ground and thereby causing a huge damage to the what you call crops now all of a sudden when the hailstorm began to fall actually what he said came into reality he was saying no 10 cents that means coins almost it resembles the pearls now what is a pearl pearl is a precious stone generally that we use in our hands okay so they will resemble like pearls okay the what do you call what drops those ice drops resemble pearls frozen pearls frozen milk which is on the solid state okay it was really getting bad now exclaimed the man i hope it passes quickly he now understood that what was happening was not good he said that oh all of a sudden everything has changed and he was hoping that this rain or this hailstorm will pass very quickly it didn't pass quickly for an hour the hail rained on the house the garden the hillside the cornfield on the whole valley the field was white as if covered with salt but it didn't pass the hailstorm didn't pass it keep on pouring the hailstones on the ground and all around everything become white everything was covered with white snow 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 hailstorm covered everything the valley the hillside and the crops everything was covered with white color so what you can say is a uh, stones of what you call cloud okay the stone stone clouds and they almost look like salts everywhere you see you can see only the white salts all around not a leaf remained on the tree not a single leaf could be found after the hailstorm ah, the corn was totally destroyed the corn that grows on the field was totally been destroyed the flowers were gone from the plants lands also was filled with sadness when the storm had passed he stood in the middle of the field and said to his sons a plague of locusts to have left more than these the hail has left nothing this year we will have no corn that night was a sorrowful one all our work for nothing there is no one who can help us we will go hungry this year now there is the reference of a plague of locust do you know what is the plague do you know okay i'll tell you plague is a kind of disease particularly it's a bacterial disease not a viral disease okay it's a bacterial disease and european subcontinent particularly european continent where suffered the most the plague came to this world in six times you can say you can say six period it came and it killed almost the 50 percent of the population of europe europe has to take recourse to at first europe thought that they will be uh, implementing one particular plan that is known as population restriction okay a person cannot have more than two child or two son two daughters whatever it is but after this plague they said that no now we have to increase our population so free birth was allowed okay so it came in europe during the time of roman empire at first at the time this particular disease was not known so many people died after that it came to this art on six times and nowadays we are suffering from a particular viral disease isn't it covid 19 but plague is also a kind of pandemic you know what is a pandemic there is a difference between epidemic and pandemic pandemic means when the effect of this particular virus or bacteria is worldwide then it is known as pandemic but when it is restricted to a particular area then it is known as epidemic okay so it's a worldwide pandemic now plague of locust locust have you heard that particular kind of insect that actually destroys the corns or leaves now also india is suffering from that particular problem a few days back you might have heard in the news that a lot of locusts were coming from pakistan to india okay actually they destroys the corns and particularly the tree leaves their main target area is the leaves okay 
So tree leaves are being destroyed. So what is the plague of locusts would have left more than this? That means there is nothing left on the ground. Okay. Even a plague would have left more people or plague would have left more what you call things than this particular hailstorm. Or the locust. When the locust came, they generally destroy everything. But even that locust would have left something for the farmers. But this hailstorm has left nothing. This year they will go hungry. And so for that, this year we will have to stir. There is nothing left on the ground or on the paddy field. But in the heart of all who live in this solitary house in the middle of the valley, there was a single hope. Hope from God. Because those people were God-loving people. They thought that of course everything has been lost but there is still a hope and the hope is the God. They thought that God must help them in their dire need. Do not be so upset even though this seems like a total loss. Remember no one dies of hunger. It said in Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna also said that the person who actually who actually uh, takes birth, he will die, and but before his death, he will not be hungry because I am the one who looks after the world. So in my custody, there shouldn't be anybody. There will be nobody rather who will, is hungry in this world. Even the stray dog will get something to eat. So here, once again, that particular thing has been repeated. Lenzo said that no, 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 no. God is there, so He will help us. That's what they say. No one dies of hunger. This religious books will tell that there is God, so nobody in this world will die of hunger. Although the knight Lenzo thought only his one his one hope, the help of God, whose eyes as he has been instructed see everything, even what is deep in one conscience. So Lenzo thought or Lenzo believes rather that what other people cannot see, God can see. Conscience means in your inner soul. What is going on in your inner soul that God can see. Whether you are suffering from inside, whether if you are happy from inside, God knows everything. So Lanzo thought that our suffering at least God has seen. Even if no people can see it, God can see our suffering. Lanzo was an ox of a man working like animal. Ox of a man, that means the person who resembles an ox. He has the power to walk like an ox. Okay? But still he knew how to write. Though he was a walking person, though he was illiterate, he knows how to write a letter. So what he did, the following Sunday at daybreak, he began to write a letter which he himself would carry to the town and place in the in the mail, it was nothing less than a letter to God. So on Sunday, he went to the marketplace and posted a letter in the name of God. And what he has written in the letter? God, he wrote, If you do not help me, my family, and I will go hungry this year. I need a hundred pesos in order to show my field again and to leave until the crop comes because of the hailstorm. So he straightway, as a very innocent person, he straightway given a demand to God that you please send me 100 pesos. And pesos, once again I am telling you, it's a currency, it's a common currency of eight countries. Okay? Particularly the American countries. So, like you must have heard of Euro. Euro is a common currency of European nations. EU, it's called European Union. Okay? European Union has got a common currency that is known as Euro. Likewise, eight American countries, namely Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Cuba, Dominic Republic, Mexico, Philippines and Uruguay. These eight countries have got a common currency that is known as Peso. Okay? And that's why I am telling you that this particular story might have been belong to these particular countries, one of the American countries. Okay? So he straightway put forward a demand to God that I need 100 rupees. Or 100 pesos. Why he needs those 100 pesos? Because he will show the plants once again. And once again during up to that time of the growth of the corns. His family has to be taken care of. So from where he will get money. So it's a straightforward demand to God that you please send me 100 
professors. One of the employees who was a postman and had help, uh, helped at the post office went to his boss, laughing heartily and showed him the letter to God. Never in his career as a postman had he had known the address. The postmaster, a fat, amiable fellow, also broke out in laughter, but almost immediately he turned serious, stepped the letter on his desk, commented, what fate, I wish I had the fate of the man who wrote the letter stating up and correspondence with God. See, this is the main crust of the story. What fate, what a fate. Means general people cannot have this fate, particularly after you get educated, no, you totally lost faith on God. This is one person, you might have heard a particular philosopher known as Rosu. What he say that when people are born, he is like a blank page. Once he began to educate himself, he corrupt himself. So this person, because he is illiterate, he is not a corrupted man. So he firmly believed that his faith on God will draw some reward. And that's why when he has written the letter, all the people who wrote, uh, read that particular letter were laughing at him. Oh, this particular address they have never seen in their life. Nobody has written a letter to God. Now they began to laugh, but immediately the boss, the head postmaster, he understood that what a faith. The faith of this person is intolerable. Means it cannot be vacillated. He cannot be taken away from the path of faith in God. And that's why what he did, so in order not to shake the writer's faith in God, the postmaster came up with the idea, answer the letter. So the postmaster thought that this particular letter must be replied. Otherwise, this man will lose faith on God. We have extreme faith. So many people you will see, so many people doing the Kirtana, so many people reading the Bible, so many people going to the mosque. They have a faith in God. So to keep that particular faith intact, what the postmaster has done, he thought that this particular letter has to be replied. But when he opened it, it was evident that the answer it he needed something more than goodwill. So when he opened that particular letter, he could see actually that this person is not demanding any kind of goodwill. He doesn't want any kind of solace. He doesn't want any kind of what you call encouragement. Rather what he wants, what he wants, he needed something more than goodwill, ink and paper. But he stuck to his resolution. He asked for money from the employees. He himself get part of his salary. And several friends of his were obliged to give something for the act of charity. So he accumulated, gathered some people and asked everybody to contribute because this is an act of charity. Now do you know what is charity? Charity means for the well-being of the sufferers. Say when flood breaks out, Generally, we donate something to the Prime Minister's Fund, something to the Chief Minister's Fund. Those are acts of charity. Means to help the poor people, we donate some amount of money to a particular place that is known as charity fund. Okay? It is impossible for him to gather together the 100 pesos. So, he was able to send the farmer only little more than half. So, 100 pesos was a huge money. So, to accumulate, that is not possible for the postmaster to accumulate that much amount amount so what he did said that okay more than half means more than 50 pesos he sent actually 70 pesos okay to that farmer and he wrote a address of lens over it and he sent it and at the end of it he has signature in the name of god okay the following sunday lens will come to be earlier then usual to ask if there was a letter for him. So next Sunday, Lanzo once again came to the post office and he was inquiring whether there was any letter came from God to him, whether God has replied it back his letter, then it was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster experiencing contentment of the man who has performed a good deed look on from his office. So the postman has handed over that particular envelope to him. 
and the postmaster who was so happy that he has done some very good work he was looking from far the how will be his uh, expression when you find the money inside so he was looking from far lens so so not a slightest of surprise on seeing the money so he just opened the envelope and take out the money and he began to count lens so was not surprised he thought that the money actually came from god god has given them given him the money okay such was his confidence but he became angry when he counted the money god couldn't have made a mistake nor could have he denied lenso what he was uh, what he had re requested so after counting the money all of a sudden he got angry and the postmaster was looking from far what is his reaction so lenso got angry how could god make a mistake how could god give 70 pesos when i have demanded 100 pesos how can god give that, uh, do that hmm he was angry on god immediately lenso went up to the window to ask for paper and ink so once again he went to the post postman and said come on give me ink and paper i want to write once again to god why did he done such a mistake when i asked for 100 pesos why did he send 70 pesos on the public writing table he started to write with such a wrinkle of his brow wrinkle of his brow means almost like this means he was very angry why why i have asked for 100 rupees and god has given only 70 rupees mm caused by the effort he has made to express his ideas when he finished he went to the window to buy a stamp which he licked and then affixed to the envelope with a blow of his fist so what he did after he has written the letter he pushed it in under the envelope and then he fixed it with you might have seen you might have done sometimes in your life also that uh, we just take some ticket and just lick it and paste it okay so he has done that the moment the letter fell into the mailbox the postmaster went to open it so when that particular letter was dropped in the mailbox you might have seen red colored boxes planted uh, by the side of the road in some town areas or somewhere you might have seen no so those were known as mailbox okay so what lens or did he put that particular letter in the mailbox and as soon as that letter fall on the mailbox the postman went to take that particular letter out and when they have opened it what they could say god of the money that i have asked for only 70 pesos reach me send me the rest since i need it very much but do not send it to me through the mail because post office employees are such a bunch of crooks see that is the problem of the recent day people doesn't have faith on people and that's what i mean by the struggle between man and man the person or the people who had helped lenso lenso cannot believe on them instead what they are saying crook crook means cheat means god might have sent 100 rupees but these post post office people might have taken out 70 pesos from them and he has handed over the 70 pesos to lenso so he was this time telling to god writing to god that you straight will send the money to me not by post office so in this particular poem is very clear cut messages there may be two or three or four messages first message is there is a pure faith in god if you have faith in god then some way or other the path will come before you okay and you will not frustrate and generally the illiterate person doesn't frustrate the literate person are more frustrated people than the illiterate person because literate person doesn't have to lose anything okay a few days back you have heard on television on any news channel that this particular fellow sushant singh rajput could committed suicide why because he was so frustrated with his own performances with the losses that was uh, occurring to him but if you would have faith in god then maybe this particular thing wouldn't have happened so faith in god is the main theme main message that our writer wants to convey to us second thing is that 
lack of faith in man on man. People nowadays doesn't believe on one another. Even the son doesn't believe on the parents. Parents doesn't believe on the son. So relationships are almost broken. And third thing is that our struggle with nature. When we exploit nature too much, the nature will make us to pay. And in this case, Lancho was the culprit. He was made to pay so much that his total field was being destroyed by the hailstorm. So, this is a very fine short story from where you will learn these particular things that people must have faith on God. People must believe others. Try to believe others at least. Even if the world is nowadays full of frauds or crooks, but still you have to have faith on God. And the third thing is that you cannot exploit nature anywhere, anytime. Okay? With that particular message in view, I am just closing my lecture over here. Thank you for coming and attending my class. Thank you. Thank you.